truth will always be the truth, regardless of lack of understanding, disbelief or ignorance. Imagine not being able to say such a witty one-liner for fear of being shot or fined. I am Cadet KL SWA 128179. My name is Ria and I represent the Column Group. The poem I'm about to narrate today is written by myself and I would love to use this opportunity to dedicate it to all the lives lost during Quit India. It didn't erupt one fine morning. It wasn't seeded overnight. We weren't considered, we weren't informed. Mere puppets in your plan. Take it or leave it? That's not how life works. Sent for diplomatic involvements? More like snap their tongue and get their sign. One March morning did you arrive. Big plans and small suitcase. Hello sir, hope you're fine. Wish didn't you, such a chime. Slaves once, fools twice. Damned be us, shall it happen thrice. Dominion status and election bribes, drugged were we on freedom's might. Gandhi and his AICC tribes declared quit India in plain sight. 8th August 1942 just sounded right. Atmanirbhar did we yearn in tears and letters and prayers. Hindu, Muslim, slave and not, do or die, united us all. The fight was bigger than your petty wars, superior to your sublime status. Tame, maim, spit and kill, enough of your imperialistic sin. Slaves once, fools twice, damned be us, shall it happen thrice. Was it the fear of losing it all, or the mirroring of your inability, that caused you to lose it and snap at us all? You flogged my father and arrested my sons. You killed my people and fined my peers. After the torchlight red on sweaty faces, after the frozen silence in the garden, after the agony in stony places, the shouting and the crying, prisons and palace and reverberation of gore and thunder over distant mountains. He who was living is now dead. We who were living are now dying with a little patience. Slaves once, fools twice, damned be us shall it happen thrice. You will never understand how it feels to be slaved unless you're slaved yourself. Never understand the plight of pained labor or the emotions beyond our pleas, the intensity of longing to be free, the horror of not making it through. When dissent is considered threat and socializing scheming, when hope is caged and fascism reigns, when tr voice is white and truth sings beyond sight, the noise hymns right, the noise hymns right. Jai Hind.